Hey everyone, for those who don't know me, my name is Mark Spitzer, and it is the 22nd of December, Tuesday, and I thought it was uh, time to start posting some of the video on stories around some of the things that happened uh, in our most recent trip with Global Awakening to Londrina, Brazil, um, this or earlier this month. So uh, this trip was um, very different from the last one that we went on. Um, God showed up in some really powerful ways. And um, one of the things I just briefly want to talk about, some of the healings that I saw on Wednesday night. So after the, the word came out on Wednesday night at one of the churches, um, we, we prayed for people who desired prayer. And the first gentleman who came up to me with my interpreter uh, had a shoulder injury from work. This injury had um, pretty, was pretty painful. I think he said it was about a five, and had been um, he'd had it for a couple of weeks. And so uh, after we we prayed with him once, nothing happened, which is okay. We prayed with him a second time, asked him to check it again, and the pain was uh, completely gone. He received a full. Um, range of motion again with no pain, and uh, we just glorified the Lord because of uh, what he had done. All of these testimonies, by the way, they're Jesus' testimonies of things that he has done, and I'll tell you at the end why I think that's important for you to understand that. Um, the second person that came up to me that I made, had note of was a lady who's had a pain in her chest and was having problems with her lungs breathing. The, the lung problem was an asthma problem, and she had had that for a couple of years, a young lady, and she also had a pain right, right, like where her sternum is in her chest. So um, we we prayed for her, and um, the first time she got a little bit better, and we prayed for her a second time, and the pain in her chest left, and she was able to completely uh, breathe again. Um, the third person that came up to us. Um, also had uh, uh, had uh, lung problems, breathing problems, right? Could not get a, a deep breath, just, just problems with her lungs. And uh, we prayed for her, and um, and she fell out. She just fell out on the ground. And so we went to the next person who had a problem with her stomach and a problem with her hip, pain in her hip and some digestive problems in her stomach. And so we prayed for her in Jesus' name, like we did with all the others. And um, I think on the second time we prayed, that pain in her hip was gone and her stomach problems were gone. Then the other lady got back up at that point who um, we asked her to check her lungs. And she said that she had full capacity. She could breathe in her lungs. And again, we, we glorify God and we praise God for that. And then um, someone came up with uh, anxiety. This person had been suffering from anxiety. I actually saw a number of these cases. I saw a number of these, these people with the anxiety or depression or fear um, several times uh, throughout the week. Just really um, my heart went out to them. Um ministered to this to the young lady and uh, she was like visibly improved her countenance had improved she felt like that anxiety uh, had had left her um those were some of the notable things that had happened on Wednesday night and when Chrissy and I were on our way out um she actually was praying from other pe other people at the same time she has a couple of really amazing healing stories to share but when we were on our way out someone else had stopped us a young man who also had lung problems and I felt led to have Chrissy kind of go behind him and put her hand on her hands on his back. And when we prayed with him, um, the third time, Chrissy said she could feel something go out of her hands and she knew that he was healed. And we asked him to check the third time. And in fact, all of the constriction in his lungs were gone. And uh, we glorified God for that. So all of this brings me to an important point. Revelations 19.10 says that, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. In other words, what Jesus has done is a prophetic declaration of what he wants to do right now in your life as the hearer of these testimonies. So if you have a physical need and you want prayer, uh, direct message me on Facebook or let me know. I'll be glad to pray for you or pray with you and watch Jesus move in your body because you are greatly loved and your health has been paid for by his sacrifice on the cross.